I was so yeah, young Bob. They took it. Oh, Bob, Bob the latest to come to the song. Yeah. Yeah. They took it. Yeah. That's where it's going. Yeah. 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 I always thought it was dangerous. Someone must have come from the Special time for the young lady, so we're going to sing a couple of songs. Most of you'll know. The rest will just have to pick up. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice. Take joy, my King. to the water, Philip as well as the eunuch, and he baptised him. We're going to be baptised and we're going to be going down into the water and baptising Jess shortly. Part of the reason I chose that scripture was because Philip had to explain to the Ethan eunuch to help him understand. And when it comes to becoming a Christian, we have to have things explained to us. When it comes to God being explained to us by individuals, It takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a church to raise a Christian. And each one of you who's here today has in some part played in Jess's journey to this point. Just by encouraging her, praying for her, and just being with her. And just showing her the love of Christ to her. So that's brought her here today. And she's pretty excited, I think about it. I know I am. My heart's racing like you wouldn't believe right now. Um, the beauty of going into the water is we'll say goodbye to the old Jess and we'll bring out a new Jess. One who's clean and sinless. You know, washed clean. So, um, Romans 6 talks a bit about that. It says, Therefore we have been buried with him through baptism into death. So that as Christ was raised from the death through the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall also be in the likeness of him, his, of his resurrection. Knowing that the old self was crucified with him in order that our body of sin might be done away with so that we would no longer be slave from, to sin. For he who has died is free from sin. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to take Jess down in the water. I've asked Will, who's a pretty close friend to Jess, I think, mm. uh, if he'll lead to the prayer before we do that. Let's yeah. pray. God, thank you for Jess's making the decision today to become a Christian. I guess this, this amazes all of us, really. See her just coming from nearly two years ago to church. Someone like her boyfriend. I'm kind of unsure if she'd like it or not. You know, it's just such progression. Like, she's always been interested and she's always had that spark even if I sometimes waver in and waver out. And I'm just so happy that she's decided this because it'll be a great companion to be with in our walk with Christ. And it's good to see someone else come to the family, Lord. Um, they can all be here to witness this amazing event. And that uh, she's always been confident in what she decides, Lord. And I just hope there's many years to come for her and for all of us that we can all see her grow in her walk with Christ and to help us older Christians to get back on track and to realize the wonderful and amazing things that are coming to your word is. And I'm just so happy. It's Amen. 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 Am
Jess, before we go again in the water, I need to ask you, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and do you want to make him Lord of your life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Do I go first? I'll be the gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, in your confession that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and you want to make the Lord of your life, and then we we'll baptize you in the name of the Father. Does anybody want to give her a hug, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter if you said you